<sighs> Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Excuse me, I just had to check the mail and... Also, I heard an odd noise in my home, so I figured it was worth investigating. Everything's fine. Where was I? Ah, yeah, we, we were talking to Brooke, so... Drone, I guess. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Oh. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Hello, Max. Oh. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. Well, you're t in I'm this still sense. bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Uh. Recent events, I guess? I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse. Much less the snow in Wales. Beyond science, probably. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic, it's erosion. Prophecy? Dying animal? Uh... Alright, here we go. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. Wanga? What the frick? Should I tell her? Uh... What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story. A sound of thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Uh, Kate? I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? <laughs> you did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a star. Yeah. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Principal Wills, the Prescotts? I guess do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. You too, Miss Grant. I guess Time I to go talk. clean up graffiti from those kids. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. 
How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. People? More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Kate bullied Destiny. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Oh, maybe I should have. Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate. Bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. Thanks. I hope she finds them now. Yeah. Animals? I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Whales? How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Uh, they're not alone, I guess. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Aw, thanks, dude. Yeah, there was some rumor floating around about this guy being like a pedophile or something. Maybe that was just in someone's title. I know Sam feels a little bit odd, but he's, he doesn't really seem like a bad guy. Dead birds. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Oh, the totem! What happened? What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Squirrels, I guess? Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Max. Uh -huh. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. You're welcome. Okay, I guess I'll talk to Chloe. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Oh boy. Here we go again. <laughs> It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. So is this like the boys? Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Well... Kate. 
one one one. Ah, oh, Kate brings it. So room one eleven is the magic number. Six. I guess that's the bathroom. Okay. Bigfoot's got big balls. One oh seven. One oh eight. One oh nine. Which means it should be right here. Yeah, as I was trying to say earlier, during one of the earlier conversations, I learned that Mr. Jefferson's the true main villain. He's the one who's been doing all the stuff, and I know what happened to Rachel, and yeah, I got caught up with him a little bit back in some other people's videos. But let's see what we can't find in here. This is interesting. What the heck? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Joyce. Max, now that David's not here, I need to myself. I'm so much out so much, but now what happened if you and her were getting mixed up and you're like, oh crap, wait, break it. <sighs> oh boy. Well, I mean, at the time, it, for the most part, seemed like the right thing to do, and I just... Oh boy. Computer. Photo. Camera. Lens. Diploma. Poster. Drawer. MP3. Look. Oh, fuck. That is so Chloe. Kate will get justice. Oh, oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Okay. I did not mean to get into all that. I had no idea. I just... Scratch marks. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Couch. Oh, Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Nathan tells me we probably won't have the same luck as when we were in Victoria's room trying to get that email of her note. Okay. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room is clean and get out of here before creepy. he comes back, don't you think? That would be the smarter Check choice to do. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Uh oh. I told you to get out of there before. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Warren? Max, I got this. Oh, his face is Get still the fuck out of my face. <sighs> you are so fucking dead. Dang, look at him go. Get off me, bro. Stay out of it or stop. I, 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 I don't know. Oh, gosh darn it. 
that to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Jeez, look at this king go! Get up! On me! Clean! Got him that time! Stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! I'm sorry! Yes, we have to go! Guy is gone. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Come on, let's let's not stay here any longer. We probably shouldn't have Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. Hi. Well, I mean, to be honest, it wasn't Damn. necessarily my That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Uh, not yet. Uh... So, maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Oh, dang. <sighs> I Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. Yeah, we should have just... I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Oh, boy. Frank always answers when he wants money. Oh, boy. Like I said... Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. This is not gonna go well, I don't think. I hope not. I hope it goes well, but... Yeah, as I was saying, we probably should have just gotten out there. Like, the programmers could have, like, made us head outside to look at his phone or something. Uh, away from all this. That way he catches it. Probably never would have had to happen, but... Holy crap, man. And like I was saying, it wasn't necessarily Max's idea. I guess he was the one who called us nosy and texted Max's God. dad. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, all that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Yeah, but or to be honest, we have to. We shooting? know he's the bad news and we have Chloe, to do something. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so we, going to hit you. Hopefully it won't. There's no way we could have, have guessed this that. is what would happen to us when we grew up. Oh, boy. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So, let's play this cool, okay? Yeah. Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. So I guess we've done two of the three things we were supposed to do that we were talking about. I didn't think we'd actually do all those things. Oh, man. Oh, man, I guess there is more chemistry between Warren and Max and meets the eye. I don't know. I just... This game really plays with your head and your heart. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, the doggy. Should we let her knock her? Oh, she's, she's coming.
Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. We're not looking to get high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? I'm sorry? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no oh, time well, that's good. That. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! You scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun. With both hands, like it was a magnet. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. Okay. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Dog is cute. Pompadou is cute. Gave dog a bone. Trained to kill. Oh boy. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. Oh. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel photo, Rachel's letter, bracelet. What are you hiding? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing <sighs> where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. I'm sorry. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Thank Could've you. definitely gone worse. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. 
Good luck. Thanks, Frank. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Yeah, I bet. Leave the beach. Things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank. Hey, Max, just want to see how search is going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe takes you. Stop by later if you would both want a party. And good luck. Thanks, Frank. You're awesome. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay. Okay, so I see. This is the client list, right? That's the party thing? Looks like this isn't the right combination. Ah. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. If I could decipher the damn code names. Letter, picture, account book. This makes no sense, Max. Yes, okay. the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. They all say paper. I have no idea which one's the... Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Oh, they all have dog code names. That's very interesting. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. Okay, so not that one. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay. Got that taken care of? Let's look at David's clues. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Coordinates. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Damn. I, I must have missed something. 
Max, there is no logical link between those clues. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. And that's all she okay, wrote. So I guess that wasn't <sighs> Chloe's Please truck. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. All right. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Listen, I think that might be it. One of the ladies might be it. A picture of Nathan? This is like goddamn math. I suck. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with... Oh, no. This is not working. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Damn. I, I must have missed something. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? I think that's him. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Nope. Maybe I should try to... Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Okay. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm... Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm... Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Okay, Nathan's tail is busted. I know, busted. I know. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the lights. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Oh, that's what that picture. Okay. <sighs> Fail, abort, wrong clues. Okay. Nathan's taillight is b Max, there is no logical link between those clues. Hmm. That's definitely Chloe's car. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Those clues are not related. This makes no sense, Max. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this, but... Okay, let's find out whose car this is. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Yep, another car David was tracking. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. This one. Maybe this one. Oh yes. Okay. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Okay. 
Chloe. Sorry about Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Okay. Do we look at... I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. This makes no sense, Max. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Alright. Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> That's even worse. Let's start hacking. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Maybe somewhere here. You locked it, dumbass. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. Oh boy. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Max's dad. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Oh, 
Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Not much out there. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. This is not working. Three. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Oh, you're treading water. So, this infamous party was the fourth. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main... I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Max, there is no logical link between those clues. Uh, hang on a second, I might need to check. I, I feel like I'm getting closer with this one. has to be it. All right. We're good Chloe, to go. This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Hang on just a sec. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. Hello? I'm on this. Hold on. Hi, this is Naomi. I'm a homeowner's associate calling... Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. 
But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. He was here. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Before we go any further, let me save the clip here, real quick.